I got a feeling That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a good night That tonight's gonna be a Hey Mel, what are you reading? Huh? Oh, uh, Life of Don Bosco. Have you heard of him? Yeah, I've heard of him. Oh. Would you like to hear a story about Don Bosco? Oh, sure, 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 please! It was December, December 8th, 1841, and Don Bosco was getting ready for Mass when a young boy by the name of Bart Gorelli, he's kind of a dirty, worn out, homeless street kid, and he walked in. And now the sacristan that w who was helping Don Bosco kicked the boy out of the church with a few slaps to the head because Bart didn't know how to serve Mass. Don Bosco, filled with compassion, called the young boy back, asking him a few questions. Are you, are your parents alive? Don Bosco asked. The boy said, no. Can you read or write? No. The boy said, First communion? No. How about, can you sing? Uh-uh. How -uh. about, can you whistle? Oh, yes, I can whistle, listen. That's right, he said yes. The boy, Bart, knew how to whistle. Don Bosco showed Bart that he had a talent, that he was good at something. And Don Bosco befriended Bart and invited him every Sunday to come back for Mass and for Catechism. Every Sunday? Every Sunday, Mel. Wow. And it was right there together as friends that they, pr they prayed the Hail Mary. And this was six months after Don Bosco's ordination. And it's said to be the very Hail Mary, the very beginning of his ministry. Um, so it just, you know, it's just how important prayer is. Even a simple Hail Mary. And do you know how... Do you understand how important prayer is, man? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I pray all the time. Yeah. Because when we pray, we get stuff from God. <laughs> okay, but prayer really opens us up to God in our world. It allows really? us, yeah, it allows us to listen and to understand who we're supposed to be and what we're supposed to be doing. It, it leads us to our unique calling in our life. Hmm. Yeah. So, with confidence, Don Bosco turned to God and to our Blessed Mother. And he was really able, he was led to his vocation to serve the poor and abandoned youth of Italy. And that's what we're, we're called to open ourselves up and with confidence pray, especially to our Blessed Mother. Do you know how to pl pray to the Blessed Mother? No, no, how do you pray to Mother Mary? All right, it's good. It, one way is the rosary. And I'll teach you the rosary tomorrow. Oh, but, I look forward to it. All right, for all you out there, we've attached a, a link to get some information on how to pray the rosary. But also... We've attached the link to our Salesian Rosary Rap video. Oh. Yeah, so you can enjoy that. But with all that said, I just want to say, with confidence, I ask you to please turn to prayer, especially during this Lenten season. How important it is just to sit back and to listen. Uh, could be a simple conversation with God, a Hail Mary, praying the Rosary. Uh, but really, I would love for you all to, during this Lenten season, to really turn towards prayer. So with all that, I bid you all good night. Mel? Yep. Yeah. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. So it all began. One prayer was the beginning of it all for one youth movement gone round the world. That's right. The Salesian Youth Movement all started with a Hail Mary. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Keep the faith, everybody. We'll see you next week, next Sunday, for the next good night. Peace out.